All right, so, you know, just like we did, we're just talking. All right, so Travis and I have talked a lot probably the past two weeks about expectations in CrossFit, and it's something that I feel a lot of people struggle with. And um, whenever Travis started, you can correct me if I'm wrong, you had no expectations, if not a negative expectation of CrossFit. You didn't really expect a lot in your first month. Oh, I didn't know anything really about CrossFit other than a friend of mine was doing it right. and you know, he recommended that I come up and give it a shot but I mean at that point in time my only goal was just to I'm, I'm getting into my 40s and you know I could feel myself getting a little older getting a little softer and right. I, I saw a need to, ch to change that to reverse that and whenever you started you didn't even know or believe that it would work to be honest. I have no idea. Okay. And I feel like a lot of people come in with that same mentality. And then even I know um, the coaches talked a lot about you had a lot of questions even into your first month. Like, is this what I should be doing? I feel tired. I feel drained. There was a lot of questioning of the things that were happening. Man, I'm, I'm used to sitting at a desk all day. Right. So when I come in here and all of a sudden after... It's been 25 years since I've been in a gym and been doing weight training. Right. So I come in a gym and I start. It's not not anything. It was nothing special about CrossFit. It was just something completely new. Right. That I hadn't been doing. And when I come in here, I mean, yeah, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Right. And and plus, it makes me really tired to do these things. Perfect. And then so we'll fast forward to. Um, how long was it after your first month that you did that ultra trail run? So I started here in, I think it was the very end of January 2017, and that was a secondary reason why I came up here was right. because I do ultra trail races, which that's anything farther than a marathon right. on trails. Which is crazy. Uh, well, some people say that. <laughs> but it's awesome. But. Uh, Anyway, that, that was kind of my secondary goal. I mean, number one, I wanted to just get in, in better physical shape for life. Right. But number two, I had that uh, Highland Sky 40-mile trail race coming up in June. I think it was June the 17th. Yes. So after January, February, March, April, May, and June, six months of CrossFit, you tackle this race, and you PR your race by an hour and 49 minutes? Something so something three. something ridiculously crazy that you've done three times the race. Yeah, this was the fourth time. So the fourth time after five months of CrossFit, you PR'd this race, and you're like, "Oh my gosh!" All of that, those questions and everything that I thought something worked, and the only thing that was changed was CrossFit. Not putting it all on CrossFit, you put in a lot of effort into everything. But then something happens after that race that what's next is. How did your goals change after that race towards more of a CrossFit mindset because of the success that you've seen with the race or personal or something changed at that point that now it's not so much about the race, it's more of CrossFit goals. Does well, that make sense? Sure. Well, let me go back just a second okay. with this race because I, I ran less this year than I have for any of the other three attempts. The big difference this year was the CrossFit. I was coming up here three to four times a week. And I mean, I still ran on the weekends. I did my long runs on the weekends, but I completely attribute right. that PR on that race to the addition of the CrossFit training. Do you think it helped more mentally, or mentally and physically, or? Well, it, it certainly doesn't help mentally, um, because I, I think one of the major benefits of CrossFit is it does, it, it, it makes you understand that you can do things that are hard. Yes. Because you've got a group here and you see the person beside of you working hard to finish that workout. You see your coach knows that you can do it so they're pushing you just the right amount. Right. So yeah, I think mentally it helps. But it added a different type of training that I was lacking in my preparation for these types of races. Right. It, it definitely added that more explosive, almost more some an anaerobic side 
or in other words, uh, a speed, strength that I was completely missing. I was doing solely aerobic, long endurance, right. low heart rate type training. That's what I've done all three years. Yes. So now I added a, a, a different component yeah. to my training and I think that really helped. Now, as far as after the race, so I get done with the race and I'm always kind of a event-oriented trainer where I like to have something out there that I'm saying yes. I'm going to do that. So I got I got done with the race and I and I saw this benefit that CrossFit had added to this race. So then I I got to kind of think, well, what am I doing now? I'm done with my race. Right. But that did free up some time to start doing more of this, more of this CrossFit class, which I'm I'm loving. Right. I mean, I'm loving the addition of of the the barbell stuff, the speed work, the more high intensity where I was doing very low intensity. So. I started thinking, well, I want to do more of that, but I've got a whole life going on. Right. And I think that's kind of what you're asking me about. Yeah, and that's where I, that's exactly what, because it's kind of ironic. Today, you showed up an hour early to class. You sacrificed early morning, whether it was sleep or something of the morning, to get here to do the extra work that you need to because you have a business. You're also helping build a home. You're not, you're, physically part of helping building that home. You're carrying, you're doing farm lot as you call it. So yeah. Yeah. I guess the biggest question is how do you balance all that and kind of how we talked about if we can mimic the conversation that'd be great. I don't know if we can but what at what point does it you realize it's not always about CrossFit. I have these other priorities that are just as important to me and sometimes CrossFit has to suffer instead of my house or my business or whatever and, and not get frustrated that you're not getting your goal as fast as you should or think you should be. So life is the priority, right. not CrossFit. Yes. Right. So CrossFit is a mechanism to help life right? and, and that's the order of the priority. Yes. And I think it, it really does that. Yes. So you're right. I mean, I've got a business to run. I, I run a law office here in Bridgeport. Um, I'm currently building a house, and as you as you mentioned, I, I'm not just hiring someone to go build a house and I show right. up and it's done. It's, I am one of the builders. Right. So I've got a huge amount of you know, site work going on right now that I go out after work and, and I do that. CrossFit is a mechanism that allows me to go to work all day. Right. And be tired at work, and then be able to go and work at the farm where I'm getting ready to, to build the house. Right. That's what, I mean, that, that's my goal right now. I mean, CrossFit is just making me a better, healthier 43-year-old person. Right. That allows me to have more capacity than I would have had otherwise. Right. I mean, if I'm just sitting at a desk all day, which is what I've done for a lot of years, I get done at the end of the day, I want to go home. Yes. I want to get in bed or lay on the couch. Mm -hmm. But now with the addition of, of this type of training, I feel okay. I mean, I can leave the office and I can go work at the farm right. until dark. So you use the goal as being a healthier, fitter, better 43-year-old man to live a better life and your CrossFit competition that you're doing, your training is for a better life, not just that CrossFit competition. Sure. I mean, you know, I did athletics the whole time when I was in high school. Because we got to have that competition to be, if it, if you do that race and you get your goal and you don't set something else, whether it be a CrossFit event, then you become uh, stagnant. And then that is the surefire way to regress quickly. Because if you're not progressing, you're regressing. Yeah, I, I mean, there's definitely, a, I definitely have a competitiveness right. in me. I mean, it is in there. I mean, that's not the main goal of why I come here. Now certainly I look around me and I see people that are, have been doing this a whole lot longer than I have. Right. And you know they're doing things at levels that are amazing to me. Yeah. And I look at that and certainly I see it yes. and I think boy that I'd like to be able to do that sometime. Yeah. That's not going to happen today. Right. But that in and of itself is a goal 
that yeah. you work to, but that's a long term goal. That's yeah. not something that's going to happen in a right. month or two like me in seven or eight months of CrossFit. Right now, I mean, my goal is to try to become stronger, healthier, you know, just a, a better life in general. Now, sure, I signed up for you know kind of an intermediate level competition. Yeah, it's not because I'm going to become some type of competitive CrossFit CrossFit yes athlete. It's just a way of in, in pushing myself right to try to do better and just and just to see what I can do right. And I think that's the biggest thing is, um, and I feel you would be completely okay if you come in here to work on your pull-ups or what, what deadlift, we'll say deadlift because that was something I, I saw you work on a couple times. You come in here to work on your deadlifts and something happens where halfway done with your house and a water line breaks, you're not going to get upset that you didn't get to your deadlifts today because the real priority is your house or your life or does that make sense sure I can say you can't get frustrated that because of what you have going on you can't compare yourself to people that can work out three hours a day and dedicate that time to CrossFit when you don't have that so there's no need to get that well I'm not making progress because I'm building a house but that's the goal your your goal is to get better at being able to spend a day doing things and work on a house does that make sense I have to realistically set goals. yes there there would be you know I enjoy this year watching some of the CrossFit games which is you know the world Super Bowl right you know of CrossFit I enjoy watching that but that's not me and it would not be realistic at this stage of my life to say I'm going to try to be in the CrossFit Games next year. I, I do not have the time to right. devote to CrossFit to, to compete or to be at that level. But I do know that I have, I have time in my life that I can come up here and I can take right. classes and maybe sometimes do a little extra that I want to do, that I choose to do. Yeah. Um, but I know that's within the context of what I have going on with a business and, and right. building a house and all of that. So that it wouldn't, I think realistic goals are important. Yes. And, and when, you know, this time next year, maybe I'm, I'm not building a house. Maybe that's okay. done. I was really good. Let me go ahead and ask this next. Do you think 10 years from now you could possibly go to the CrossFit Games if you built the foundation of your priorities. If you could, if you lived the every day you got up with the intention of living a better life, healthier life, and put your priorities in that order, ten years from now when the time was there, if you had that foundation, could you potentially go to, as a master, now that there's all of these masters division with a long-term goal, if that foundation was there, like what we're talking about now, priorities, I gotta be healthy, I got to do these things and then whenever your time frees up a little bit more and slowly add in just like the race you replaced your race time with CrossFit time to eventually get to that level that you want to be even if it is at 53 is that do you well, think that's possible so I'm not sure that at this stage of I know it's a super being long. in CrossFit that I could answer that but I can tell you this I don't know if I could go to the CrossFit games at age 40 or 53 in 10 years, but I'll tell you this, if I did CrossFit for the next 10 years, I'd be a heck of a lot stronger person at 53 than most 53 year olds, I can guarantee you that. I'll answer that, that's how I should have asked the question, but that's the yes, it's, if you can prioritize to live a better life every single day and be happy with how you live your life that day, whether it's the house, the deadlifting, whatever, that happiness is what it's built off of. I'll, I'll tell you, if I did CrossFit from age 43 to 53, at 53, I think... You'd like you to know, go back and play football in high school. Exactly. I mean, I think if I went to a high school reunion, there'd be a lot of envious guys. <laughs> yes. yes. And I'd be doing a lot of things at age 53 that the vast majority of age 53-year-old men can't do. And some 43-year-old men. And 43 and 33 year old men. And yeah, probably even 20s. And I'm confident about yeah. that. And that's, I guess, we could, I'm good at wrapping that up at that. Because that's exactly what I wanted to try to. It's a 
just a constant progress over 10 years that you can look back and be like, wow, I accomplished so much and I'm fitter 10 years from now. And knowing that living life in those priorities is how it's accomplished, not through coming in and getting upset that we didn't get our pull up today or our deadlift PR today or our clean PR today. You have 10 more years to get that. It's not that big of a deal. You can adjust things over those 10 years. You get to learn that what I did for three weeks didn't work. Okay, three weeks is too short. What I did for eight weeks didn't necessarily get me exactly what I wanted, so I got another eight weeks to try to change that. And right now I feel as though you've done pretty much everything right on cue with what you needed to accomplish with CrossFit is just practice, because you adjusted your training a lot. You didn't want to quit running, but you felt it was necessary and it worked. So we learned that that worked for you. Sure. If you would do it again, you know how to train a little bit smarter now. And not that what you was doing was wrong, I just feel there's things that we can learn and ask ourselves daily, was that the best way to do that? And that's something that I practice doing and I'm sure that you do the same thing. Did I do everything I could today to get better or did I do some things that made me better and some things that didn't? And am I able to say the things that didn't make me better, I need to improve upon those? I don't know. It's just like anything in life, man. You know, you have those things, you have days where you don't do things that you should. You have days when things don't work out. But you learn from those. And you do better next time. You day. do better next time. Just like the saying that I always use when I'm in those long races is just constant forward motion. That's it. That's it. We'll win on that. That's perfect. I think we did okay, Charles. <laughs>